Alright, so I just heard a hog. Okay, that's a bird, but I did. What was that? What's up, guys? Jeremy coming at you. Um, today, we're going to the Mayaka State Forest. Uh, we're going to do a 10 part series. This is the very first episode of that series. And we're just going to be touring around the backwoods of Florida. First, we're going to start at the Mayaka State Forest. I've got everything I got my camera, backpack, water. Let's get going. All right, guys, we made it. We're here at the Mayaka State Forest. Uh, that's the ranger station to get us a annual pass. And that, uh, I believe, is like 40 bucks for a year. And that's for a full year, a month from the month you buy it to that same time next year. Uh, I think without it, it's like $2 per day per part. So it just makes sense financially to go ahead and get it and then that way you can just get into any park here in Florida and not have to worry about you know change or anything uh, let's see here we got a picnic area uh, I didn't see a sign about where the ranger station is so we're just gonna have to I don't know drive until we see it oh. You've arrived. but they don't look open Alright, so we're just looking for the North Loop Trail. Uh, it says it's about 100 feet, so let's check it out. Maybe it's Oh, here we go. Almost missed it. So if you're coming down the trail and you park right there, it's literally right here behind this bathroom. Alright, so hopefully there's no like snakes or anything. Uh, they said that the trails is wet still uh, from raining. Some parts are about a foot high. So make sure you've got walking shoes or at least some decent boots. It's already muddy right here at the beginning. But here we go. Check that out. Alright, so we came from over there, uh, take the trail, just come down, it's not entirely clear, but there's a sign back there that says North Trail Loop, so let's see if we can get through. I'm getting soaked. Oh, too late. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a wet one. Right now it's about mid-October. Uh, it's really nice at this time of the year. We're starting to get into the cooler months where, you know, it's like 80 degrees and a little less humid instead of the upper 90s and humid, which is nice. Right now it looks like the grass is just really growing. And you might want to bring some pants. I mean, I like shorts, I don't mind. But I do feel like there's some bugs out here kind of getting on me about my shorts. I don't know if it's because they're above the knee, but don't hate. Don't hate. It's all right. Flexibility. That's what it's all about. Got to be running, ready to sprint if something's coming after me. Mama bear. Baby bear. I don't know. Been in the slider. Oh, whoa. Almost got me there. See ya. 
Oh, oh. So yeah, like I said before, I'm going to start doing a 10-part uh, series, uh, this being the first episode of that series, and it's just me going around to different uh, national forests here in Florida, so hey, if you want to, you know, maybe link up, DM me, hit me up on the vine, on the book face, whatever, um, and we can maybe link up and start getting more people involved which would be pretty awesome and start coming out here together just walking around enjoying the nature the quietness some exploring I mean, I'm not gonna go out there by myself because I mean, and it's not just because the, the, the brush is thick or anything but I don't know what's out there I mean look at that look how thick that looks Eat. Something just eat my ankles. Chupacabra Chihuahua. Not good. Not good. So I'm not sure what's gonna be my uh, what next part I'm gonna do. But if you guys got any uh, suggestions, uh, leave them down below in the comment section. And check them out so, uh, if I can get. The most popular one, I'll definitely go check that one out. I did see that there was a Florida cavern, but it looks like uh, that one's closed down right now. But I definitely would like to check that out because Florida, if you don't know, it's pretty flat. A little flat. So the fact that there's like some kind of underground cave system or uh, some kind of cave structure. Definitely want to go check that out. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever been in a cave, uh, except for like, you know, when you go to like the beach and the water washes against the rocks and leaves like a big crevice, big old concave hole in it. That's about it. Uh, and there, even then there was like spiders galore. I'm talking about big old tarantulas just hanging right above your head. Uh, not for me. I mean, I'm not allergic to spiders, but come on. I feel like even if you're a thug, you see a spider, uh, you're hitting, hitting that high note and add it there. Not for me. I, everything looks, if I don't know what it is, it's dangerous and it's poisonous. It'll probably kill me. Probably kill me. This looks like. I don't know, a disease waiting to happen over there. Little shit. All right, just making sure there's no leeches on my legs here. Like where it jumped. I don't see it. All right, I'm not sure if my GoPro got that, but that was a pretty big deer. I mean, like I said, I've seen plenty of deers in California, but I hear that they're. I hear that they're bigger here on the, the east coast uh, than they are on the west coast. And I look pretty big. Maybe we'll see another one. It's about the only animal of a decent size besides maybe a, a hawk or some kind of crane that I've seen out here so far. I mean, I haven't really seen anybody out here besides myself. I did see some cars, but. Yeah, maybe we'll see something else. 
All right, here's that trail that we first saw. But that was six miles, guys. Six miles, it didn't feel like it. I mean, I think it took about two hours at a steady pace. I mean, I only sat down to at that one bench area, and that was pretty much it. That was nice. Holy shit. It was a creeping. Did not see that coming. I didn't even see him. I was too busy trying to get some, some B-roll footage. All right, guys. We made it. Six miles, and we even did a little additional side memorial mile. Uh, it's pretty good overall. Uh, definitely wet. Uh, I would strongly recommend waiting for a drier season or maybe not after the rain. Um, other than that, it was pretty nice. Really peaceful. Saw a couple of animals, the hawk. Saw that deer that popped out of nowhere, that last, I don't know, brown bird, duck. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Uh, but it was definitely nice. You guys, thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me on this six mile north loop here in Waka State Forest. Uh, definitely, Definitely pretty awesome. Probably come back. Um, yeah, thanks guys. Uh, if you like these videos, of course hit that like button. If you want to see some more, go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to do these weekly uh, on the weekends, and then try to get you know the video out that next week. But yeah, if you're liking them so far, uh, leave a suggestion down at the bottom on what or where you want me to go next, and I'll check it out. All right, thanks guys, peace.